In this lesson, we're going to cover how to create drawing views based from an assembly file and also a presentation file. We're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new drawing file. And you can see the procedures here are exactly the same as though you were going to create them based from an apart file. So in this case, just going to go ahead and click on base view. And then from the drawing view dialog box, since I don't have an assembly file or a presentation file open, I'm going to go back and navigate out. In this case, you'll see that the file type is at IPN, but what I'm really looking for is going to be an IAM file. So I could go back, I could change the file type to display all of them, or in this case, I'm just going to filter out to the assembly files. And I'm going to go ahead and select the arborpress.iam, and you'll see that it's in the Chapter 6 Exercise folder. Now from here, we're going to go back and we're going to designate the orientation. So as it's going to go back, it's going to start to flip around. I'm going to see that none of these views are exactly what I'm looking for for the orientation. So I'm going to go ahead and change the view orientation. And let's pan that back and zoom away. And I'm going to use the rotate and right click with the common view. And then I'm just going to rotate that up 90 degrees. And that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to exit out of that. Rotate tool. And then we'll exit out of the custom view. And that's what I'm looking for. So right now the scale looks a little large. So I'm going to change the scale back to a half. And let's place in that base view. And then from here, go ahead and project. In this case, we'll project off a top view side view and an isometric view. Now at this point you're free to edit these views and do everything that you were able to do inside of a part drawing if you will. So in this case I can right click edit view, I can turn on the shaded display I'm going to go back and just make it a little bit smaller. Let's do 0.4 for the isometric view. And that looks pretty good. I can move these views around, add my annotations if needed. Let's just slide all of the views over just a little bit. Because what I'd like to do is I'm going to place in a view of the same assembly except based on the presentation file, the exploded view. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click on base view. And again, I'm going to navigate out and I'm going to change the file type designation in this case back to the IPN I'm going to click on the arborpress.ipn file again in the chapter 6 exercise folder and we're going to get the same preview so in this case I'm going to do the same thing change the view orientation and we'll just jump right to the chase with the, the rotate tool And let's switch to an isometric view, so we're looking at it from the front. And then we'll go ahead and we'll place in that view. In this case, I'm going to place it on the right-hand side. And again, we can go back and shade this. And let's go ahead and do that. Click Shaded. Now there's a lot of information on this one sheet because what I could do is go back and create a new sheet. So I now have sheet 2. So what I could have done is I could have placed in the base view here directly. But since I already created the presentation file, I'm going to make sheet 1 active. And I'm going to expand the views. And what I can do is I can just move the presentation file view by clicking and dragging with my left mouse button and you'll see it is now in sheet number two where I have a lot more room where I can go back and place in all my balloons and annotation symbols and parts list if I wanted to and if I go back to sheet one I can now go back and probably clean this up a little bit move things around so that they're not as tight 
So that pretty much covers how to create drawing views based on an assembly file or a presentation file. Follow the exact same rules and settings that you would creating a view based on a part file.